video. I'm doing a more casual sit down style video because I wanted to share with you guys some of my current favorites. I do these periodically just to update you guys on what I have been loving. So just to jump into it, I am going to go ahead and start off with skincare. Skincare brand, I guess you could say, that I have really been enjoying is Belief. Now, I talked about them in my travel skincare video, which I'll put here and also link it down below. Now, the reason that Belief sticks out to me and one of the reasons why I want to mention them in my current favorites is because I appreciate their ingredients and products and I really feel comfortable recommending them to a lot of different skin types. So in particular, we have the True Cream Aqua Balm, which is a very popular moisturizer. I feel like this works on a lot of different skin types. For me, what I like to do, and again, I mentioned this in that travel skincare video, is I'll apply a layer at the end of my skincare routine and then if I feel like I need more moisture, I'll go back in and apply another layer, kind of using it as a sleeping mask. Now, one thing, and I actually put it back in this little box. Belief gifted me this, and I have been testing out this guy here, which is the Pete Miracle Revital Eye Cream. So Pete is a mineral-rich ingredient, and this also contains 80 different forms of herbs. And the reason that I like this is because I'm 25. I want to start upping my anti-aging regimen as early as possible so I can kind of preserve what I have. I've been using this around my eyes and I have been thoroughly enjoying this. It actually matches my outfit. I like this because this is a very moisturizing eye cream and it's going to help with the anti-aging factor that I'm looking for. But on top of that, it's not so heavy that it's causing milia around my eyes. And I wanted to show you guys a little set where I put it back in here because I just thought this was so cute. You guys will see I'm a box hoarder if we didn't know this. But this also comes with their Peat Miracle Revital Cream as well as a little Peat Miracle Revital Serum Concentrate. I'm just a big fan of Belief products in general, so uh, without much further ado, cue that video montage. Paracone MD. This is their daily brightening moisturizer and this has a SPF of 30. And the reason that I like this is because I have been very short on time in the morning. This kind of knocks two birds out with one stone in the sense that I have a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one so I don't have to layer on both. And for my dry skin, this has been excellent. Under makeup, this is fantastic. And I just like how lightweight this is, but it still keeps my skin feeling nice and moisturized. Paracone MD, again, like Belief, is just one of those skincare lines or skincare brands that I have really been enjoying for the past couple months and I've been using quite a few of their products. This one, though, in particular, is one that I really like. Another brand that I've been experimenting with the past couple months that I've really been enjoying their products is Cellapathy. And I am not gonna get too much into these products because I'm actually gonna be talking about these products in another video, but I just wanted to give them a shout out because you're going to be seeing them again. But I just find over time my skin has gotten much more sensitive, so I'm always looking for products that are good for sensitive skin. So again, I'll talk about those more in depth later, but I just wanted to shout them out. Now I'm just gonna talk about this really quickly before I get into my last big bulk of this video. And this has been a favorite of mine and my boyfriend's for the past couple months, and that is kombucha. And again, this is what I've been drinking while I'm taking my baths or cooking dinner. Instead of my normal glass of wine, I switched over to kombucha. The brand in particular that we drink is called Kavita, and this is the Master Brew Kombucha. This has live probiotics. It's a fermented type of drink, so you get all the benefits of that, and it really helps with digestion, which everyone can benefit from a properly functioning digestive system. They have all kinds of flavors in the Kavita brand. I really like their tart cherry. I like their blueberry one. I like their citrus one, it's really good. Their ginger based ones are excellent. I drink about half of this at a time. And yeah, we buy ours at Bonds if you're curious. Now, like I mentioned, this bulk of the video is gonna be talking about my hair because I have been really making an effort in 2018 to really improve the health of my hair and just kind of regrow it from 
Me having bleached it so many times, um, it definitely damaged my hair and made it much more tangly, so I'm just trying to rehab my hair a bit. So these are some of the products that I have been experimenting with that I have also been enjoying. So I guess I'll start off with these. These are from Volair. This is the Weightless Volumizing Shampoo as well as the Weightless Fortifying Conditioner. To be honest, the shampoo is what I really like. I just have the conditioner here because they go together, obviously. I really like the shampoo because it's a different format of shampoos that I've ever tried. It's a foaming shampoo, so you don't have to really suds it up in your hair, which I like. And it just cleans my hair. It doesn't dry out my hair. And it actually leaves my hair feeling very soft. I'm looking to see, yes, this is also sulfate free. But if I'm looking to really give my hair a good treatment, I use this from Amika. This is their nourishing mask. And I literally put this in my hair for as long as I'm in the shower. And then I wash it off at the end and it just leaves my hair feeling really soft and shiny and it feels a lot stronger. And again, this is free of parabens, sulfates, and artificial colors. So trying to up my hair game as well as my skincare game. Now let's go ahead and talk about some other additional hair products that I've been using. I mentioned this in my Riley Rose tour video, but I have really been loving this Briogeo Scalp Revival. This is a charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment, and this is one of the few scalp treatments I've used, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Now how this works is you just give it a little shake and then after you wash your hair you drop a couple drops into your scalp and just kind of massage it into your scalp. And I like this because to be honest, I have an itchy scalp and that's just because I have dry skin. So by nature, my scalp is very dry. And this has been something that has completely eradicated that issue of mine and it really soothes my scalp. And I think this has in it, yes, it has biotin, which is good for promoting hair growth. And I can't speak to that because I haven't really noticed any new hair growth, but as far as how it makes my scalp feel, it just gives me that nice, tingly, fresh feeling. I really love this, and this will be something I'll continue to purchase and enjoy. Now this last product is definitely a splurge, and the reason that I picked this up is because I really wanted to see if these were worth the hype, and that is a Bore Bristle Brush. Now this one's from Christophe Robin. This is the first product I've ever bought from them, and this is what the brush looks like so it is just kind of I saved the box like I do with belief because I like the boxes. This is what it looks like. It's just a typical boar bristle blur Blah. What a tongue twister. It's just a typical boar bristle brush. And what boar bristle brushes do is they take your natural oils that your scalp produces and kind of works them through the rest of your hair so you don't have to rely on heavy oils to keep your hair moisturized. You can use your own hair oil. So I actually kind of do like a little routine with this pretty much every day. And I just go ahead and I work, I don't want to brush my curls out, and I just work my way from the top of my head down to the bottom. Do I know if you really need this expensive of a brush to do that? I don't know. I, I'm sure that there are other great four bristle brushes on the market, but I just felt like this is something I could invest my money in and actually see if they're worth the money. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this current favorites. My first of the year 2018. Let me know if you guys have tried these products. I will link them down below where you can pick them up, including this cute set from Belief, which is their Do You Believe in Miracles? And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.